I'm going to show you something that will probably blow your mind. It's where we're going to add a counter for every post in our loop grid. So if you've got, say, eight posts, it will say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really, really simple and easy. Well, it's not simple and easy, but when you see how you do it, you're going to go, ah, I did not know we could do that. Here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is go into our loop grid and we're going to drop in a HTML, just a little uh, icon element, not an icon, just a HTML, okay? And then we're going to go and add in some CSS to the loop grid. And that is what controls the look, the color, and the positioning of it. So let's jump into our loop grid. Let's go and click, click edit template. And what we have in this template is a post title, a featured image, and a post excerpt. Above the post title, I'm going to drop in HTML. And we're just going to position that to be above. Now, you could get away with positioning it elsewhere, but it all depends on where you want the number. If you wanted your number counter to be at the bottom, then go and put it at the bottom below your post excerpt or however you've built the template. And here's what you're going to paste into here, this, and that's it. Okay, I mean, that's literally it, span class fraction span. By the way, there will be a link in the video description for where I got this off Reddit. So someone had created the code and I've gone and taken it and adapted it ever so slightly. So this is all you do, okay? Nothing is going to appear though at the moment. So just go and hit save and back. And when you do go, you're going to go, well, there's nothing there. This is where you have to now drop in the CSS into your loop grid. So go back over to your loop grid, go to advance, scroll down to custom CSS and then drop this in. And you will now see, and I'm just going to extend this a little bit so you can see what the code is. You will now see that we've got numbers appearing at the top. We are going to modify the positioning of it though in a moment. So that's basically what it does. And you can see here that you can control the size. So if I was to go and change this to be 120, you can see what it's doing there for the font size, the background color, obviously, um, the border radius, let me set it to be 10. You're now getting a bit of a curved effect over there. The width, if I was to change this to be 20, well, you, look, you can see what it's doing, all right? So you can control the font size and the size of the actual, well, the circular bit in a way. So if you want to have it with more padding inside, you could do that or just leave it as how I've done it as a 2EM. Text align center. Let me get rid of that. And you can see now it is not centered into there. And of course, there's just display inline block. If you get rid of that, it starts to look like this. So really, really simple and easy to do. But what about the positioning? Well, this is where you now have to just add in a little bit of extra code. By the way, all of these codes will be in the, uh, the body of the YouTube video except for the bit where I did the HTML because YouTube doesn't like you using angled brackets. So I will put that in the very first pinned comment of the video. So scroll down, go to the pinned comment and you'll see all of this code. So what this now does is ensure that it's made the Z index 999. I'm going to explain that bit in a moment because I'm going to modify this really, really ever so slightly. We have a margin bottom of minus 12. So let me just get rid of that. And you'll see the gap there above the top shrinks down and text align center. So this is me just moving around where I want to have it positioned. Go back over to my edit template. And I'm now just going to rejig the order of this. So where we have the post title above the image, I'm now going to put the post title below the image. Now we're going to hit update. I've changed it to be a minus 32 pixel and you can now see that it is very, very nicely dissecting the top of that image. And obviously you could modify the size of it, but that's us adding in a counter. You drop in the HTML into your uh, the template bit and then into the loop grid CSS, you go and drop in some extra bit of code and voila, you have some nice looking numerical counters for your loop grid. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that. Path.